Chinese hackers are going after American property, and they're showing no signs of stopping or slowing down. The National Security Agency has specifically warned about a Chinese hacking group called Volt Typhoon. They've been targeting U.S. infrastructure, like electric grid operators, water systems, and shipping ports. In some cases, the hackers can get in and maintain access to the networks for at least five years, lying dormant until they're ready to strike. China's hackers are positioning on American infrastructure in preparation to wreak havoc and cause real-world harm to American citizens and communities. This gives Volt Typhoon the ability to conduct potentially destructive cyber attacks at will, crippling the services everyday Americans rely on at a moment's notice. If and when China decides the time has come to strike. They're not focused just on political and military targets. We can see from where they position themselves across civilian infrastructure that low blows aren't just a possibility in the event of a conflict. Low blows against civilians are part of China's plan. China isn't utilizing incredibly sophisticated technology to do this either. Many of the tactics used are actually pretty standard for a relatively skilled hacker. They're just so persistent with their hacking attempts that eventually groups like Volt Typhoon are able to get in. The vulnerable state of U.S. infrastructure cybersecurity makes the problem even bigger. The level of coordination needed to combat these attacks just doesn't exist. Take the U.S. water system, for example. It has at least 150,000 individual operations each run by different entities and individuals. That level of fragmentation exists throughout all 16 critical infrastructure sectors in the country. Federal agencies are now advising operators on best practices to prevent these cybersecurity breaches in the future. They say that implementing multi-factor authentication and regularly reviewing network activity logs can help stop persistent Chinese hackers from getting through.